How expensive is it to travel in Norway? We're in Bergen. Bergen is Norway's second largest city and it's also known for its rainy weather. The weather today is... It's uh, rainy. But we are here on a very special adventure to show you how you can travel according to your budget. One of us is splurging on a high budget, and the other one has a much lower budget. But we don't know which one of us is gonna have which budget yet. No! Ah, okay, okay. I'm used to it, so it's gonna be fun. We are splitting up now, and we'll meet again in 24 hours. And we'll meet again. I'm used to it, it's gonna be fun. We'll meet again in 24 hours for breakfast tomorrow. Uh, let's see what we get up to. I'm going this way. Yeah, I'm going that way. All right. Yeah. See you later. See you. Enjoy your luxurious day. Good luck. <laughs> let's get started. The cheapest way of getting around is walking. And then it's a good thing that uh, in Bergen you can experience a lot of cool stuff by foot. I'm thinking of uh, going down to the world famous Brygge as my first activity of the day. Our very first activity of the day is a fjord cruise. We're leaving from Bergen's Bryggen area, so that means Tobias is right around there somewhere. Let's go see some fjords. Bryggen is on the UNESCO's World Heritage List and it's actually one of the best known urban areas from the Middle Ages in the entire of Norway. But the coolest thing is that behind the iconic Bryggen front lies a hidden world of undiscovered passages. There's many weird things there. Oh, no way. Yeah. So we're on quite a typical ferry. You can take in a view, you can charge your phone. There's nice and clean toilets. There's even a cafe where we can get something warm and cozy to eat. Eating a shilling smola while uh, enjoying this gorgeous view of the fjord. So our um, high budget trip is going very well so far. My uh, second activity for the day is to visit Fløyen. And you can take the Fløyenbahn up there, but uh, I'm feeling pretty energized in my uh, legs today. So uh, I'm gonna walk. It's a steep and uh, relatively quick walk up to Fløyen. So far this uh, cheap down-to-earth lifestyle is super nice. I mean, just just listen and and and, and look, it's, it's so magical. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder how Gabrielle's doing with all her money. I just finished an incredible fjord cruise. We got so close to waterfalls, absolutely stunning. I'm really excited for the next activity, but it's all the way across town. I feel like yeah, Frodo walking up to the misty mountains, because this scenery here is epic. Oops. Cue the Fast and Furious music. We're here at our next destination. We are going all the way up there. We are taking the Ulrich Bonnet, which is a gondola, all the way up to the top of the mountain. It is quite foggy out here, so I'm not really sure what kind of view that we're gonna get. It's not about money, money, money. We just gotta make the world dance. Bergen is known for its seven mountains, and Ulriken is actually the tallest of them. At 643 meters above sea level, you can imagine the incredible views that you would normally get from up here. But with all the fog, this is what I'm seeing. From the top, it's 320 meters. Oh! And to be honest, I was expecting to be a little bit disappointed, but actually I'm, I'm not. Because uh, if it weren't for the fog, I wouldn't have had that awesome Lord of the Rings experience up here. But if you're here when it's blue sky, it would look something like this. I stopped in this cute little cafe that they have at the top. Just gonna grab something warm to drink, get a little bit cozy and warm, and enjoy this feeling of the fog. I'm running a little bit late, so I'm gonna take the plane bottom down. Well, that was quick. <laughs> Now, what way would you choose? Would you walk or take the flame bomb? Just got out of the taxi and 
the bills are adding up. All right, I am walking through the very adorable streets of Bergen to my high budget hotel. And uh, the sun has come out today, which is so, so lovely. Now I'm on my way to my accommodation for the night. I'm gonna take the public transportation. And this is my hostel. It actually won the Oscars for the best hostel in Norway in 2024. Hey, sorry, <laughs> sorry man, I didn't see you there. <laughs> been holding out on me. What? <laughs> okay. This bathroom? Are you kidding me? I can't even imagine what's in store for dinner. As you can see, when you sleep at a hostel, you don't uh, have room for yourself. It's uh, shared uh, dorm rooms. But the room seems fine. It's a simple bed and a simple toilet with a shower. It's all that you need, basically. I love the fact that the hotel is within walking distance of everything, uh, including the restaurant. I'm excited to see what's for dinner. Back in the city center where the sun actually is starting to pop out. But I'm uh, super hungry now and I'm uh, going to find a budget-friendly place to eat. And I think I know the perfect spot. It's an uh, historical uh, sausage place, Tiriakrona, which stands for three Norwegian kroners. I guess it's uh, budget friendly. Thank you. Tobias must be so jealous right now. This place do have a crazy amount of uh, ridiculous crazy sausages. This looks uh, quite interesting. Sausage with a view. Okay, that was a uh, 80 kroners. It's definitely an amazing experience to be traveling with a high budget. So that was actually one of the most unique uh, sausage experiences that I've ever had. <laughs> if you're in Bergen, check out uh, Tere Kroner. This uh, view and everything it was uh, quite an uh, experience. It's time to go back to the hotel and relax. Oh, what a day. It has been, uh, yeah, a really nice one. I'm uh, looking forward to going to bed now because it has been a lot of walking. Good morning. <laughs> now I'm going to meet up with uh, Gabriella to check out uh, her place, which uh, I'm really excited about. What? Good. <laughs> Gabriela, are you for real? <laughs> Freaking bathtub and everything? No way. <laughs> I live here now, but... <laughs> this is so insane. You're real. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. But seriously, Gabriela, how, uh, how was yesterday? Yesterday was incredible. Um, Norway on a high budget is a luxury experience. But what I learned is that it's very easy to spend money. The purchases just add up. It's like a, a coffee here and a thing here. And, and I learned that uh, you don't need that much money to have a good time as well. Like seriously, I had the best experience walking up to Florian. So yeah, you can do both and enjoy yourself, I, I think. I think uh, maybe the best bet is a balance. Yeah. Definitely, like uh, have a low budget uh, kind of uh, in the background and splurge on the things that really matter to you. Now we wonder, what would you choose? Low budget or high budget? Let us know in the comments below.